Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. I am fresh off my excuse me, 12 hour. Ooh, that, that was uh that was a marathon. 12 hour embargo lift live stream, and it was phenomenally entertaining. I absolutely love doing that. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm uh, a little off my game right now. <laughs> Literally 12 hours of streaming. That was intense. So a couple things we should do. Uh, having a proper army uh, set up to um, squash resistance, not very efficient. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use some of this experience to create some some new divisions here. Like, oof. I wish I could... Four divisions are using this template. Which is... Hmm. Differing from this one in very little artillery, uh, support artillery and recon. Don't really need that. And I, 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 I mean, if if I I wish I could tell it to easily say say I don't want this one, upgrade this one to a different one, but not a big deal. Uh, how many are using this? One division is using this right now. So let's edit this. Uh, and we're going. This is just like cavalry. Uh, recon and what we're gonna do is add on nope we can't do it I was gonna do MPs but apparently we haven't researched that yet well let's wait then we have time right now let's wait uh, but we will in the meantime prepare for an invasion of Czechoslovakia so uh, let's take this army right here um, right now they're on garrison duty well let's just leave them let's leave them for now we're going to have to make uh, armies for defense and armies for garrisoning um, areas so that these more proper armies, these ones that have combat experience and are good at fighting, that they could do something better with their time, like fighting Czechoslovakia or the future Soviet Union. All right, so let's pause this real well, we did pause it. We need to start picking our military staff. So division attack, division speed, division training time, organization. Uh, organization comes back really fast, so I'm just gonna go with attack. And now that we have this, I'm going to pop over to support battalions and put on MPs. Ooh, 188 days. That's that's a ways. So we're going to be doing that for a while. Do we have anything building right now? Regular infantry divisions. All right, that's okay. We have plenty of time. We're in, we're in a good spot. We control uh, 149 factories. Uh, I believe we're, none of them are really busted up or anything. Nah, some of Well, yeah, a lot of sabotage just hit right there. We saw it. As soon as I was talking about it, it hit. All right, we'll let that go. Um, it's not a big deal. We're okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, are we building any? Sh we're using our... We're just building submarines right now, right? Submarines and some destroyers. And a heavy cruiser. But those were damaged. That's okay. Every time that yellow thing pops up, it's someone fucking around with me. Those yellow words that popped up on the screen, those are people taking advantage of me. And of my benevolence. Proved already. Uh, it's still a ways away. Uh, yeah, Panzer three. That's a ways away. Uh, we can get more. Uh, we're actually working on that right now. Air. We can get the 110s up. Let's get radio detection. Let's get that going. Uh, we're, we'll, we'll probably need later on, radar later on. The French communists. Is that the French communists? No, that's... Uh, that's French attacking the Italians? I don't know what's going on in there. I really wish I did have MPs, though. How's my supply situation? Uh, towed artillery we're way behind on. Uh, infantry equipment we're okay. I mean, everything else we're fine with. That was a lot of sabotage. Don't I, I got people on... They must not have very good suppression. Yeah, look at this. Infrastructure's getting wrecked. Pretty good. And they remember the access, right? Yeah, they remember the access. That's good. They're not having a lot of luck, though. No, we could do. We, we we could send this army to go help. If we really wanted to. Let's 
Western approaches. What happened? Battle right here. Oh, it's just a convoy raid. Air superiority. There's 18 bombers in the Alpine region. I'm not worried about that. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying these episodes. I've been enjoying recording them. It's been a lot of fun. All right, now they're they're going into Poland. It looks like. Yeah, let's uh, let's take this army. Let's delete this. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna give them a front line right in here. God damn it! Never paint those lines correctly. I'm I'm starting to not. Ugh, damn it. Starting to not like the battle planning as much as I initially did. Start like here. There we go. Let's go like that. Because the AI is oftentimes not great at um, picking good strategies. Like I've seen it, it like had 20 divisions available and spent 19 of them encircling one enemy division and one of them actually attacking. Like okay, that doesn't seem like the correct ratio to me. Building lots of fighters. Yeah, everything's getting sabotaged. I figured that was going to happen. Everything's getting wrecked. Look at that. The sabotage is pretty awful, too, because it takes a long time to repair that stuff up. It's not quick. Alright, so let's um, take these guys. I am going to give them a... I am going to do a battle plan here. Um, and basically, I'm just going to make it simple. I'm going to say, just go to the coast. Come on. Is that what I want there? Just go all the way across. That should encompass everything. Uh, I think I'll wait for a few moments to give them a little bit of a planning bonus, and then I'll send them in. How much, well, while I'm thinking about this, how much artillery are we pro We're only producing eight artillery per guns per day. And we add, do we do we have access to better artillery? No, it's still, still tier one. So that's okay. And what about infantry equipment? Still, yeah, it's just tier one equipment. Okay, so we're good there. We're good. All right, so let's send these guys in. Should give them a nice amount. German military mission to China. Good relations with China since the end of the previous World Krieg? I don't know what that means. Uh, despite the loss of the Chinese permission, a German military mission has been in China for a number of years, and Alexander von Falkenhausen, a great process of reforming parts of, of the Kuantumintang. I don't know. I cannot pronounce anything. You'll have to forgive me. My pronunciation is probably more terrible than normal, considering I'm a little loopy right now from 12 hours of streaming. Ger uh, let's see. China gets defend German withdrawal advisors from the National German Military Advisors. German Military Advisors, which grants land. Advisors will stay. Uh, let's actually recall them. We finished our naval rearmament just now. Which was right over here. Uh, this would give us naval experience and build slots. I actually want to... I think I'm going to go over here to try to get to the Type 7. Uh, well, let's take a quick look around. Make sure we pause the game. Where's Operation... Operation... Vesser Boom. There it is, right there. So can I... I can still do that if I... Or can, can I get down there? Requires Danziger War. Danziger War requires Eastern Claims. Eastern Claims I could do right now. Don't demand stuff from my allies. I don't know if I necessarily want to do that right now. I think we need to start getting... Oh, I, I kind of want to get that next research slot. So we should probably... Let's work on trying to get that down. Like, I don't really get like, like what the planning is right here. We have all these units available. I'm telling it to acro attack across a broad front. And it's barely doing anything. Ugh. <sighs> Let's, uh, all right, let's send in the planes to the North Balkans. Naval bombers, that's not what I wanted. I wanted tactical bombers over there. Boom, boom, boom. Go get them. 
Uh, well, close air support pre is pretty efficient. The fighters aren't so much because I don't think they have the range to get over there completely, but that's okay. And modify the government. It's Germany. You have so much political power to work with. Chief of the Navy commerce rating. That should help out a little bit. We're not using our tanks at all? Let's see them. Like, all these guys stacked up. Why are you not attacking right here? You're attacking with one division. You have all those divisions available, and the battle plan is calling for an attack with one. Just don't get it sometimes. Experience, enemy air superiority only <laughs> is only knocking off 1.9%. Entrenchment is taking up a lot of that. We have exile divisions. What? What are you doing? What, where are you going? What are you, why are you doing that? Okay, then. Color me confused. Again. I just oftentimes I feel like I could do this much better myself. And I wish I could have the AI take care of it for me, but it just doesn't really seem like it's very good at that kind of thing. More infantry divisions coming. We have a lot of infantry equipment to spare now, at least. That's good. It's just the artillery we're lacking on. We could devote, try to devote some more factories to it. Like, we're cranking on these planes right now. Maybe we don't need to crank on fighters so much. Maybe we could put three more of these factories into producing artillery pieces. Didn't I just... Hmm. Thought I had more to spare. Uh, well, let's take some off light tanks then. There we go, that's a little better. That's a little bit better. No template, and that's just for heavy tanks. But we'll make a template for heavy tanks. I kind of want a template for MPs more than anything else. Seriously, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? What? <sighs> it's it, it loaded them up on rails, moved them like 50 miles, and then turned them around and took them back. If you understand it, let me know. Oh, battle plans. You are a fickle, fickle bitch. Got a lot of air experience. I already modified the 109s once, though. I don't know if I want to do it again so soon. We did have... Let's see. Um, where am I looking? Production here. 109 A's. Well, we're at full efficiency on that, so it's been a little while at least. And what do we got in, in reserve here? 109's, uh, 109 A's. Oh, same, about the same amount. So not too bad. Look at how badly we're faring here. Commander skills entrenchment. How do they have that much defense? Base of 200. Wow. Base of 200, really? And we have really low soft attacks comparatively. River cro Oh, there's a river crossing. There's a river crossing there? The hell? I don't see a river. I'm looking at it. I don't see a river. Tactics, movement, attack, uh, attacker tactic damage. Delay. All right, maybe it's par partially tactics. Maybe doesn't seem like we're doing very good against them. And look at the look at this mess of battle plans. Maybe we turn this off. Just look at ours. 
We're doing terribly. What if you just... Why can't we attack? Are we not at war with Rome? Am I not at war with Romania? Have I been... I am delirious. So... Have I only been, like, doing defensive battles here? Because I'm not actually at war here? Can I ask to join the war? French-German war. Well, I don't think that's this. I don't think that counts as the same war. Hungarian-Romanian war. No, that's that's a different war, and I'm not. Everybody else is involved in it. Um, they didn't call us in, and I don't think we can be called in. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I was completely wrong about that. Um, so delete your plans. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, well, let, let's let's try an another battle line. Like, um, give them a smaller one. Never, ever click the right country the first time, do I? Let's try it around, like, like, just give them a small line, like, here. And have them stack up there. Then maybe we can move the other armies over. Not bad. Not too bad. Okay, okay, okay. We got more tactics coming. Should have done this sooner. Organization, max speed. Uh, breakthrough organization enables blitz. Probably going to go down this tree here. Because I don't have... I have more tanks than I have motorized infantry. Hungary took a state, Poland took a state, Yugoslavia took two, Bulgaria took one, Kingdom of Romania was puppeted. So, Poland, Hungary, Bulgaria took some stuff, and these guys are puppeted now, I'm assuming to Hungary. Kingdom is, is a puppet of Yugoslavia, actually. Alrighty then. Oh, uh, that, that's the way we'll play that then. And here are some fresh German divisions that don't have anything to do with the moment. Uh, let's give them a new army. Von Manstein, Gundarian, let's give them Von Bock. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw them a line right over here. Very good. Come on, get over there. Very nice. All right, good. That's better. Nations, what is this? Vectin members justifying war goes. Hungary is justifying against Czechoslovakia. Okay, I have one against Czechoslovakia as well. So just hold your horses there. Yeah, definitely a little w went over, little overboard, I think, with the artillery because I'm lacking several thousand pieces. Well, how many exactly? Well, one thousand one hundred forty. We're making 11 per day. All right, so we need to pick a new focus. Uh, we could do, we got air innovations, experience, uh, research bonus, battlefield support doctrine, and some air bases. Uh, available armies, uh, which grants army maneuver, expert dividend speed 10%. All right, let's do army. Just trying to get some of the basics out of the way now because we have time. We're gonna want. I think what we want to do is take out Czechoslovakia, then try to prepare for um, sea line and and take out the United Kingdom. I think. I am happy. Free military factories. Gonna be producing some arty. So that's oh, civilian factories have a how long is it till he gets MPs in here? 58 days. Desperately need those MPs, too. Defense, organization. 
Plus one, tanks and armor variants, max speed, 10%. Okay, yeah, that's good. Modify the government, chief of the air force, all weather export, air reformer, air experience, gain 10%. That's not a problem right now, so air support, 10%. We're going to do that one. I'm going Again, I apologize if this is a little rougher than normal. A little loopy from 12 hours of, of streaming and, and tired and things of that nature. Let's, um... These guys really aren't doing... They, their suppression is pretty low, I think. It's in here somewhere. Attrition, reconnaissance, weight. Trenchman initiative, piercing armor, breakthrough, soft attack. Experience less trick for supply use. Suppression of nine. Uh, it's not bad. But I'm pretty sure that I can make uh, I can make military military police dedicated military military police units that are a lot better. So nothing's happened up here. I think we can pull some units off of here pretty easily. Uh, let's take four of these. Um, give them to you. Right over here, like that. You should automatically spread those units out. You should automatically spread those units out. You should automatically spread those units out, God. Really? I thought that would spread them out a little bit more, but I guess not. On Red Naval, but. Ooh, what happened here? I see that. Alright, so we came across a British carrier group. Sank two of our submarines. That's unfortunate. But, I mean, we've sank a lot more British ships than, uh... Than they sank some. I think we've only lost four so far. Doing good. Uh, I think one army to clear up this gap here. Which we could do with these guys right here, I'm, I'm assuming. We do that pretty easily. God damn it, would you look at that? They are... Man, the French are really busy. But like I said, uh, what we're gonna do is wait for the MPs to come off. We should have gotten any sooner. I gotta remember that for the future. You can see those yellow... Every time those yellow letters pop up, it's nothing good. It was always something good in Hearts of Iron 3. That was like building new factories or new infrastructure, things like that. Nope, that's things getting blown up in here. Single radar, research time minus 3%. Yep. God damn it. See all those things getting blown up? Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is wait for these two to finish. Uh, well, they're at 94% now. Let's just have them deploy now. We'll start saving up some. We'll start saving up um, some equipment. You are going to take a line right here. What we're going to do is you are going to take an offensive line right here. You are going to take an offensive line right here. Like that. Create a pocket. And then you are going to go to here, which would reduce that pocket. Should at least. I mean, closing the pocket looks like we're fine with. Actually destroying it uh, is probably going to be a little bit more difficult than what, I, what, what I'm, I'm looking at right here. What's going on? Why can't I see my units? Unrestricted submarine warfare. Alright. Pause. Probably gonna keep going on this. Submarine surface detection, submarine rating, rating coordination. Ugh, if I could speak correctly. And submarine organization, carrier organization. Oh, I don't really care about that. Like cruisers, battles, surface raiders. Or we're focusing pretty good on submarines right now. Mostly interested in taking out the Czechoslovakians and uh, prepping for a sea line. All 
I just realized we have some free military factories. Two free military factories. Um, catching up on towed artillery nice and easy. Uh, so why don't we start working on other support units that we might want to add in, such as uh, anti-tank guns. So let's get you up a little bit, at least above the uh, the naval stuff and maybe the heavy tanks. Uh, put those factories on anti-tank guns. Yeah, that's good. Yes, I know we're not building anybody right now. Saving up those arms. Uh, I guess if I could save some up. Toad artillery pieces. Well, we already got a lot of this. It's just artillery. Just artillery. I mean, everything looks good down here. Yes, please. I might actually be able to scoot right ahead. Nope, not scoot right ahead to MPs too. Uh, we're going to start getting those other support battalions unlocked. But what we're going to do now is take the Schnell division. We're going to upgrade it so that it is all it dub doubles as a military police um kind of thing. Well, that's 9. Point, well, it's 9.6, but it's also it's also a lot smaller. I don't think I can add on a second MP. I don't think I can add on like a huge MP. No, MP support. Uh, if I wanted to, I could just go like Cav. Knocks it up to 12. 14.4. I mean, that's not too bad. That's still pretty small. And 14.4. What if I do it in 16? 19.2. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Schnell Division. We're gonna uh, just... We're just gonna rename this... MPs. Or, not PSs. M. P. S. -s save. It'll upgrade the one that's already out there. And then what we'll do is we'll start... Here they are right here. We're gonna tr say train. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, that's 10 right there. 1 through 10. Let's count that wrong. And we're gonna just, just we're, hey, we're gonna say we're gonna put them right here. Oh, we can't. It has to be in like our territory. And they are already all fully equipped, so now they just need to get uh, uh, trained up a little bit, and they'll go into the field, and they'll start doing their suppression. Keep those goddamn French under control. And we can already modify the government again. Uh, let's see, division recovery rate, armor. Bomber, naval air defense, field logistics, anti-submarine, airborne assault, army logistics. Um, let's go with infantry. Just straight up make those infantry better. Innovation's very good. Uh, let's see. The Panzer, 50% resource over Panzer Kampfwagen 3. That's pretty awesome. So we'll do the treaty with the USSR. Kind of bouncing around the place, but we're still doing good. Free factories. Uh, we probably want to go anti-tank guns. Low on tungsten, which I don't love. But we are using most of it for artillery right now. And what we're going to do is once we have some actually built up in our reserve, then we'll add in, like, support. Well, probably an actual, actual an AT battalion for the divisions would be good. And why don't we do this now? Take care of this. Uh, do, 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 do. We want to go here. We want to go this. Declare war. Conquer. Call in allies. Yeah, let's call in our allies. Send. Yeah, that escalated. Boom, boom. So they're going to wheel around and try to cut off the Czechoslovakian units here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take our planes, we'll redeploy them to Czechoslovakia. Oh, we already have them here. Naval bombers, why would we have them there? Oh, they're already working there. Okay, good. Looks like they are trying to lash out. Not having a lot of luck with it, though. We don't need Polish uh, expeditionary forces. But we're doing good. Uh, I think what we'll do is just wait till it's a little closer to being cut off, and then we'll swing around. All right, that's close enough. And now uh, you guys will head in. See, if you give your, your, your battle planner, like, small objectives, it does okay. Although I'm not sure, like, 
Its only objective was to take, like, two spits of land right here. It has taken majority of my forces, and they're going over this way with them. That is not something I really understand. I don't understand that. Uh, but this looks like it's going to be an easy victory, so we'll... Well, let's cancel all those before we go. I was going to say we'll leave this tomorrow, but let's make sure we take care of some stuff. We're going to want to trade for some tungsten, so I know I'll forget about that if we don't take care of it now. Uh, Sweden has tungsten, so we'll get it from them. And good to go. All right, everybody, everybody uh, jumbling my words here and there. If you have enjoyed this, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.